welcome back to Q2 Stadium, where two of the main things we'll see happen right here this season are Austin FC playing on the field and local soccer fans losing their minds in the stands. Now, this stadium is the foundation, the roots. It's where we'll all come together to support our local team. And right now, we need to give you a sneak peek of the ins and outs of this awesome stadium. We are here at Q2 Stadium. I'm Jeff Jones, and I'm welcoming in my friend Andy Lochnane, the president of Austin FC. You just walked in like a fan would. Yeah. When they see this beautiful stadium right when they enter, what do you hope stands out to them? Well, it's going to be more than just what they see. It's going to be what they feel, what they hear, what they smell. What you see, what you hear, what you smell, and maybe what you taste. Andy, I want you to show me the food and drinks. Where do we go? This isn't labeled yet, but this is going to be the Austin table. And you tell me the cool thing about this is at the Austin table, you never know what's going to be on the table. We'll have a rotation of various um, chefs that are going to come in and showcase a couple of products, and they might get discovered and be able to grow their business from here to here. It's a really cool feature and a big important part of our commitment to diversity, inclusion, and community. You say the businesses might grow from here to here. You let me know when it's ribs day, uh, wings day, seafood day, my belly might grow from here to here. <laughs> Andy. Yeah. This is gorgeous. You've been hiding this from everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Come on in real quick and join me. We're making history today. We are the first crew inside the Austin FC locker room here at Q2 Stadium. Andy, how does it compare to other MLS locker rooms? Well, I think this is probably one of the largest inside of soccer specific stadiums. So it's certainly um, distinctive in that feature. Beer hall, huh? You yeah. get to see everything on tap. Anybody who's got a ticket to the event has the opportunity to come to the beer hall. There's a couple of amenities that I think people will enjoy here. First of all, it's a great place to grab beer. This is a lot like a sports bar. A lot of beer, a lot of beer, a lot of beer, a little food. There's also great TV action. So there's a significant number of TVs in here, big media wall. There's a lot of amenities inside of here. So this is a great spot. One more time, a lot of beer, a lot of beer, a lot of beer, a little food. I'll see you here. Guys, so believe it or not, that is access that a lot of people don't get. We've taken you all over the stadium to the food court, the beer hall, the locker room. We've seen it all, really. Did anything stand out to you guys as one of your favorite parts of Q2? Mine's definitely the food court. All I want to do is eat. When I come to sporting events, I want to eat as much food as possible, enjoy the event, and eat more food. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Jake? It's got to be the beer hall, and I can say that because uh, contrary to popular belief, I am over 21 years yeah. old. Uh, but the beer hall is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, never when I'm working and covering a game, only when I'm here just to, you know, taking the, the stadium and the great soccer on the field. Can we get an ID check? I need it. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get on that in just a second. And uh, neither one of us have ever seen the ID, so feel free to call Jake on his lies yeah. if you want to. And guys, my favorite part of the stadium is actually something that I think might go overlooked by some people. The seats are amazing. They're made out of this mesh fabric that I've never sat in before. Very comfortable. They stay cool. I'm a fan of the seats. Uh, and Jake, you know, we're going to see a ton of people one day when it's safe sitting in these seats and enjoying soccer games.